Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get a optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 11 23H2, which Microsoft released late yesterday in my part of the world on the 25th of March. And the update is KB5053657 and is give or take the same update um, I posted on when it was still in preview a couple of days ago. And once the update is installed, if you do decide to install it, because it is optional, the OS build on 23H2 will be bumped up to 22631.5126. Now, when the update was in preview, it included six new features, but for the stable release, we only get four new features. Now, going through the key highlights, according to Microsoft from the change log, rolling out gradually, we get the six new features and then we get a couple of important fixes now first of all the first fix is for japanese users and if we head into our settings accounts the name displaying at the top of the settings accounts apparently was showing first name last name instead of last name first name now that's been addressed and then we also get the new Top cards. Remember, these features are rolling out gradually, so you may or may not see them at the get-go, so always keep that in mind. And the new top cards appear under Settings, System About. And these top cards provide an easy way to view your PC's key specifications, including things like storage, graphics, RAM, and your CPU, your processor, which help you to quickly understand your PC's capabilities at a glance, according to Microsoft. And I actually think for your average Joe, your average home user, this would be a nice step in the right direction. And then the next uh, new feature rolling out is the gamepad keyboard layout is now available for the touch keyboard in Windows. And this includes button accelerators, example, X button for backspace, Y button for spacebar and over and above that the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned to improve controller navigation patterns and this has been a long time coming and was actually rolled out and then Microsoft pulled it worked on it a bit and now it's making its way out back again to Windows 11. Now we also get an important fix for ctfmon.exe which might stop responding when copying data from certain apps and that's quite an important part of the Windows OS because it stands for Collaborative Translation Framework Monitor and is a process that manages alternative user input technologies like speech recognition, handwriting, and so on. So that's an important fix. And the next new feature is an emoji button in the system tray if it has rolled out in your region. Just remember, these um, features are rolling out gradually. And obviously, if you click on that, it will launch the emoji panel from your system tray. And then I'm just going to mention the next new feature. It's for voice access where Microsoft has introduced Chinese support for voice access. So obviously, that's region specific. And those are the new features and the key bug fixes according to Microsoft, which are highlights. And then because this is a non-security update, it also includes other bug fixes and quality improvements. The first two are rolling out gradually where the update provides no two CJK fonts in Windows and that's for Chinese, Japanese and Korean. And the, app, and the update adds support for a new function in Filter Manager that enhances the system's ability to notify applications of directory changes while minimizing input output operations. And then the normal rollout, so everybody will get these um, next couple of fixes. I'm just going to mention them because there's only four. There's a fix for remote desktop where certain get help troubleshooters might not run in a remote desktop session. They've also updated the country and operator settings asset profiles. And this is an important fix because it fixes a known issue. There's a fix where USB connected dual mode printers that support both USB print and RPP over USB protocols might unexpectedly output incorrect or unwanted text. And that was a strange bug. Um, officially confirmed by Microsoft as a known issue, which now, according to Microsoft, has now officially been patched with this update. And then the fourth and final fix is they fixed an error message on a blue screen that might occur when a user profile is redirected to a network virtual hard disk V2. And 
Um, obviously, a blue screen of death, that's an important fix. So that's more or less what's new, guys. In our latest optional update for Windows 11 23H2, KB5053657. And we are still waiting for the optional update for this month to roll out to version 24H2. And I would suggest that there's a good chance we would get that um, before the end of this week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.